In this tutorial we will discuss Faradaic and non-Faradaic currents in voltimetry. Let's discuss with Faradaic currents. The currents resulting from redox reactions at the working and auxiliary electrode is called Faradaic currents. When the applied potential exceeds the reduction potential of the electroactive species, a reduction will take place at the electrode surface. Thus, electroactive species diffuses from the bulk solution to the electrode surface and the reduction products diffuse from the electrode surface towards the bulk solution. This creates currents that's called Faradaic currents. The magnitude of the Faradaic current is determined by the rate of the resulting oxidation or reduction reaction at the electrode surface. Two factors contribute to the rate of electrochemical reaction. And they are the rate at which the reactants and products are transported to and from the surface of the electrode. That is mass transfer. And the rate at which electrons pass between the electrode and the reactants and products in solution. That is kinetics of electron transfer at electrode surface. Non-Faradaic currents. The currents other than Faradaic may also exist in an electrochemical cell that is unrelated to any redox reaction. These currents are called non-Faradaic currents. The most important example of non-Faradaic current occurs whenever the electrode's potential is changed. When mass transport takes place by migration negatively charged particles in solution migrate toward a positively charged electrode, and positively charged particles move away from the same electrode. When an inert electrolyte is responsible for migration, the result is a structured electrode surface interface called the electrical double layer, EDL. The movement of charged particles in solution gives rise to a short-lived, non-faradaic charging current. Charging the potential of an electrode causes a change in the structure of electrical double layer, EDL, producing a small charging current. 